something smells fishy. Podestas provide files to U.S. government days before Mueller investigation subpoenas Podestas. The liberal Democrat mainstream media, MSM, created the unfounded and unprecedented hoax that the Trump campaign was working with Russia during the 2016 election. Although no information to date has substantiated this claim, the MSM is reporting nonstop about this since the election loss of their candidate Hillary Clinton. The Democrats and their really fake MSM tried recounts which didn't work and then they gave their all to the fake news Russiagate story. At the same time, the MSM never mentioned the connections that the Clinton team, including John Podesta, her campaign manager, and the Clinton Foundation had with the Russians. The Clintons, their cronies, took millions from Russia in exchange for U.S. uranium and other future gifts yet to be disclosed. We know the Clintons and anyone connected to them is corrupt. We learned this from the years of Clinton corruption and from John Podesta's emails released shortly before the election by WikiLeaks. We also know that the Mueller investigation is phony because he is the textbook definition of a dirty cop. This is due to the fact that Mueller has connections to the key witnesses in the investigation. Examples, James Comey, who leaked information to the press hoping to ignite the special counsel, and yet Mueller has not recused himself. He also has a history of not bringing any prosecutions to the high-level cases that involve the former President Obama administration and the Clintons. Also, all the people hired by Mueller are former Clinton and Obama cronies. Now, last week, we uncover that the Podesta group, run by John Podesta's brother, Tony, retroactively filed Department of Justice J disclosures for pro-Putin lobbying. The Washington Examiner reported the Podesta group belatedly filed several new disclosures with the Justice Department on August 17th related to work the firm completed between 2012 and 2014 on behalf of a pro-Russia Ukraine think tank. Back in April, the powerful Washington lobbying firm run by Clinton ally Tony Podesta filed a document admitting its work for the pro-Russia European Center for a modern Ukraine may have principally benefited a foreign government. New disclosures reveal dozens of previously unreported interactions the firm made with influential government offices including Hillary Clinton's State Department and the office of former Vice President Joe Biden while lobbying on behalf of the center. Embattled ex-Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort failed to disclose his extensive lobbying efforts on behalf of the center at the time as well. Anyone lobbying or doing public relations on behalf of a foreign government is required to register as a foreign agent in compliance with the Foreign Agents Registration Act. The August 17 filings include short form registration statements for six Podesta Group employees and an amendment to the firm's registration statement that includes a list of political contributions made by relevant employees throughout 2013. A review of those do donations show both parties received cash from Podesta Group lobbyists. We know these people are corrupt to the core, so why did they just file these uh, things before the Mueller uh, subpoenas? You know, so Mueller is dirty as can uh, as they come, and that's why they filed it before, to, to show like they're clean, but they're not, and everybody knows this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.